Hey guys, it's Blue. This is a follow-up video to my E3 Flasher tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your custom firmware. Okay, I have this pre-made folder prepared for you. Download will be in the description. It will be titled, Upgrading Your Custom Firmware. So what you're going to want to do is plug in a USB, make a folder titled PS3, inside that folder another folder titled Update, and inside that folder drag the official firmware 3.55. Okay guys, once that's done, you're going to want to go back to the root directory of your USB. And you're going to drag these two package files, toggle QA and 4.60 spoof by ARC version 1.03. Once these two files are copied over, you can eject your USB. And I'll meet you on my PS3. Okay, so you're going to want to plug in your USB. And as you see, they pop up under install package files, and you're just going to want to install both of them. Okay, then you're going to want to run Toggle QA, and your PS3 should beep, as mine does right here. That means it went good. And then also you want to go on your PS3 and check, make sure debug settings can now show up. So you're going to want to go down to network settings. And then I struggle a little bit here because I forgot the combination. But it is L1, L2, R1, R2, D-pad down, and L3. And you want to press those at the same time. And the reason we're doing this is to check to see if the toggle QA installed. And you need toggle QA since we're on the Rogero 999 downgrader. And you can install a version above 9.99 and that's where toggle QA comes in it lets you install a firmware lower than the one you're currently on and as you see I open up the debug settings do not mess with these unless you want your PS3 to get messed up so now I'm gonna turn off my PS3 and put it into recovery mode this is how to put your PS3 in recovery mode while it's off, hold down the power button until it shuts off again. It should beep a few times during the process. As you see, it just booted off right there. Then you're going to want to hold it again and wait for the two beeps that you'll hear in a second. There is one, then it should beep twice, like it just did. Now a connect your controller screen should pop up. So connect your controller, go to option 6, system update. And as you see it says 9.99. You cannot install a version above that, so that's why you need to do the toggle QA. Or else you're stuck on the Rogero downgrader. Sorry, my video camera died right there. But all it does is checks it, and then right here you'll see it begins to prepare your system to update. Do not turn off your system. Again, my video camera died, so then it kind of worked out because I just skip ahead to the end right here. After it's done preparing to update, guess what it does? Of course, it updates your system. So right now we're putting on 3.55 official firmware, official shishel, whatever you want to call it, 
installing it, and then once this is done, you can go ahead and install any custom firmware of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and install Rogero 4.55. doesn't really matter as long as you install a sex-based custom firmware, because we did not switch over to DEX, which I did on my other PS3, but I'm a fan of CEX. So right here, the update's just finishing up. Configuring my HDMI. And see, the PS3 boots up with the normal boot logo. That's because it's off custom firmware. As you see right here, it does not have install package files. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that I am in fact on 3.55. As you see there. So now I'm back at my computer and I'm going to load the Rogero 4.55 on my USB. We're later going to spoof this to 4.60 with the package file you see right there. And that'll allow us to get on the PlayStation Network. So delete the official firmware 3.55 off your USB. Copy the Rogero and paste it in the folder labeled update. skipped ahead right there because it took 30 seconds or so so it's finishing up right here then we're just going to eject the USB and put it back in the PS3 okay this system update you can do from the XMB as you see right there Rogero 4.55 showed up we're going to want to accept the user agreement and Press start. I skipped ahead again right there just to save some time. And here it was checking for update data. My video camera ended up dying on me again right there. But then I wanted to show it installing. And again it died. So I missed it restarting. Then I just turn my PS3 off and on again, and here, Rogero Custom Firmware 4.55. So, as you can see, I am in fact on Custom Firmware. You can see the installed package files. I'm going to go into my system settings, and you guys can see I am on Firmware 4.55. So now, all we have to do is run the PS3 spoof 4.60 Once it loads you wanna click X on the spoof 4.60 click active spoof press yes and then it'll back up files check files copy files Process those files being copied. Check the files. And then you want to press yes and yes again. Then your PS3 will reboot. It'll still be on the Rogero 4.55 custom firmware. But then I'm going to show you in my system settings. I am in fact on 4.60. So we are spoofed and ready to access the PlayStation Network. As you see right here, system software version 4.60, everything's set, you can log into PlayStation Network, I'm not going to right here because I don't have some type of protection on. That's it for my tutorial, leave a like if this helped you, if you enjoyed, and yeah, enjoy your new ready to go online custom firmware PS3.